What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeastfulLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a compressor in the MPC software. All right, so let's begin. So why would we want to use a compressor? Most people, most producers and engineers want to use a compressor when they want to tame peaks. Sometimes they want to use it for special effects. They want to add some kind of effects to it, like a pumping effect. Uh... But most of the time is used to tame peaks, all right? So the peaks are these base uh, transients right here in your, this is a drum loop I have. Let me just play this drum loop real quick. So as you see, this is a regular drum loop, like a little rock loop. You got kicks, snares, and hi-hats. But you see how you can barely see the hi-hats, right? The hi-hats like right here, right here. We see the little tiny bumps. Let's see if I could move in on it, zoom in a little bit. So right, you got like a uh, kick, hi-hat, snare. So what compression does is it basically squishes the dynamic range down. So the dynamic range is the difference between the peak, uh, the top of your peaks of your audio and the, and the sustained or the decayed sustained part of the audio here, all right? It's the difference between here and here. So it's basically squashing your your peak so that it's average level with the rest of the audio file. All right? So let's go over the compressor real quick and some of the features. I'm not going to use no fancy compressor. I'm going to use the basic air compressor that comes with the uh, MPC software. Okay. Let me just take off everything here. Take off the ratio, take off the threshold. All right. Now, the threshold is basically where compression starts. All right. It's a level where compression starts. The ratio is how strong the compression is. Uh, you have attack, which is basically how fast your compression starts once the audio signal reaches past the threshold. And the release is the, <coughs> excuse me, the release is how fast does your level go back to zero um, after your level reaches above the threshold or below the threshold, excuse me. So let's, let's go over it. it I'll make a little analogy <laughs> to help explain it. The threshold, let's say you're in your room, right? And you're playing music. You're playing music real loud. You're playing music so loud, your mother says, turn the music down. That's your threshold, okay? Now, how far, how low you turn your music down is your ratio. So, Let's say if you don't have a strict mother, your mother's not that strict. Hey Timmy, turn the music down. I may cut, if I have a if I have a radio that goes up to volume twelve, and my, I know my mother is not that strict, I may do a light compression, or I might turn the radio down just a little bit. So I'll do like a two to one compression or three to one maybe, two to one, three to one, something light. Now if you have a strict parent, your pops, you know, your pops go upside your head. Um, you may want to turn that radio down a little bit more. Maybe let's say 10 to 1 ratio. 8 to 1, 10 to 1, that's a higher ratio. Anywhere between 6 to 1 and 10 to 1 is kind of a higher ratio. Um, and it'll, squ it'll squash your dynamics down a little bit more. Okay, the, more, the higher your ratio, the more compressed your signal is. Okay, the attack is how fast you react to your mother telling you to turn your music down. So when she tells you the music, when your mother tells you to turn your music down, the attack is like how fast you go to turn that knob down, okay? And the release is how fast you are to turn the music back up once your mother leaves the room after she says, turn your music down, okay? The release is basically you turning the music back up once it, once she leaves the room, all right? That's my best analogy for it. Let's go over it a little bit. We'll uh, we'll play this drum loop real quick. 
and we'll see what happens. Let's go. All right, so a couple things you need to know first. One, if you have a one to zero ratio, you do not have compression. If your threshold is set at zero, you have no compression. You'll know you have compression going or starting when you see this reduction. It's called gain reduction. That's your that's your compre- that's what a compressor is, gain reduction. It reduces the gain of your signal. All right? So you'll see this meter start jumping when the uh when the compressor kicks in, okay? So let's start light. Let me start with like a two to one. Let's start with a fast attack. If you do too fast of an attack, it'll really chop your peaks off. Uh, if it's too slow of an, too slow of an attack, it'll take your compressor a while to kick in. So you got to find a good medium in here. Um, about a millisecond or two, that's fine. The release I'll set down to like 50 something, 45, 50. All right, so you're still not gonna see any compression going on until I move this threshold down. And when I say two to one ratio, it's basically means for every two dB over the threshold, for every two B, for every two dB, your signal goes over the threshold you get one dB of output, all right? That's what a compressor is, all right? So, now when I start to move this threshold, you're gonna see some compression happen. I lie because I'm on my, I'm on my vocal track, excuse me. Now you'll start to see some compression going. Now as you can see, it lowers the output signal relative to the input signal. Before, when the threshold was all the way up, they're pretty much even, right? When you take the threshold down, your output goes down with it. So I'm set at negative 29 dB. So everything above 20, negative 29 dB, let me try to show you here on this mixer real quick. Everything above 29 dB, I wish this mixer was a little bit bigger. I could stretch this out and see. Well, if you can see the 30, everything above the 29, which would be right above it, like a slight notch above that, you know, 30, everything above that will be compressed, okay? And I, if I want to add compression, I could just raise the, the ratio. As you can see, you get more gain reduction. But once you reduce the gain, you can add the out, use the output to get the gain back. This is called level matching or, you know, gain staging. That's bypassed. Now the with the unbypass, you're gonna hear a little bit more body in it. You're gonna hear like the sustain more of the kick and the snare, and everything's gonna be a little bit more cohesive. So put it back on. Hold on. Three, four, four. Sounds beefier, right? 
So let's try this. Let me let me try this. I wasn't going to do this. I was going to end the video here, but let's take this audio right now. Let's go over here. Let's go to track. Uh, let's export this loop to the see what it looks like when I bring it back in. So we'll go to file. We'll go to export. We'll go to audio mix down. I'm only going to export the four bars, no tail. That's good. Wave file, 24 bit. Uh, 44.1, that's good. I want to export this to my. To my desktop. And there's no settings that are set in stone with compression. Compression is basically, it's a science. There's no right, there's no wrong. There's only science. And um, so fool around with it. Fool around with the attack and release settings. And see what they do. All right, so I just, I'm going to input this back in. Okay, so now if you look at the bottom one, if you look at the bottom clip, let's man, I wish this NPC had some of the features of the Ableton DAW. Man, just to be able to move tracks up and down, make them bigger, just uh, okay. So if you take a look at this wave file, it looks a lot beefier than this wave file. Look at the tr look at the uh, decay. Yeah, like like look at the first case. Oh, sorry. If I solo this Look at the decay. Hold on. Of the sounds on here versus this loop here. Look how fatter it is. Like I said, I didn't do a hard compression. It was only a two to one compression. If I did 10 to one, these peaks would have been squashed down a little bit more and a lot more, you know, average level with the uh, rest of the beat. But I took the peaks down a little bit. I raised up the, uh, the decay of each sound, which makes it a little bit fatter. And now those little tiny hi-hats you couldn't see before, you can see them a lot better now, right? All right, so I hope that helped you. This is my video on compression, based, real basic video. I hope you learned something from this. If you did, please click the like button. Please comment below what you learned. Please comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And also make sure you click the notification bell so when I do drop new videos, you will be the first to get them and you can check it out. Um, also, if it's your first time here, make sure you go into the description below and you get my free drum kit, free of charge. I want to thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Thank you kindly and make sure you go uh, download my free drum kit. If you've been here before and you need some new sounds, let me close this out. I can close this out now. Perfect. If you need some new sounds, check out Loop Cloud. Loop Cloud has something going on to November. So if I open up my Loop Cloud, yeah, with every Loop Cloud uh, subscription. You get a heavy heavy osity. It's a uh, it's a plugin. Uh, yeah, go download it. It's free. And claim yours before November six. All right. Uh, yeah. If you need a lot more drum sounds, more drum kits, more uh, inspirational uh, keyboard loops, guitar loops, mandolin loops. 
Whatever kind of loops you need, come check out Loop Cloud. They're the number one spot to get your loops from. They have over 4 million loops to start with. That's pretty much, that's a lot more than any other uh, company around, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, over 4 million loops in one shots in all different genres. So go check them out. Loop Cloud, my link is in the, check out the link in the description. It'll definitely help me out and help the channel out if you do. Um, yeah. I hope you learned something today. This is the MPC Learn How to Use Compression video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is your man, Jimmy Conway. Peace.